Welcome to today's lesson on elapsed time. Today we're going to be using t-charts as well as number lines to be able to find the amount of time that has passed using five minute intervals. Let's go ahead and get started. We are going to begin today finding out how much time is passing between 1 15 p.m. all the way to 3 30 p.m. Now in order to do this, we're going to start by using a number line. So I'm going to make a rough sketch of a number line and we're going to start with 1.15 p.m. So I'm going to label my time 1.15 p.m. and then I'm going to create my number line and this number line is going to go all the way to 3.30 p.m. So 1.15 is our start time and 3.30 is going to be our end time. Now the first thing that we're going to do is block out hours. How many hours is it? Full hours between 1.15 and 3.30. So from 1.15 to 2.15 is one hour. So I'm going to write my time to make sure that I'm staying organized and I'm going to write 2.15 p.m. And from 1.15 to 2.15 we moved one hour. Now I'm going to move from 2.15 to 3.15 p.m. So we're going to be moving one more hour. And I'm going to make sure that I label my time 3.15 p.m. I also want to make sure that I label that I've moved one more hour. And it's important that you're labeling this correctly because we're going to be adding these up at the end. Now, if I were to move one more full hour, that would get me to 4.15 p.m. But that puts me way past my end time. So now I'm going to start counting in five minute intervals from 3.15 until I get to 3.30. So I have 3.15 to 3.20, 3.25, 3 So I just barely moved in three five minute intervals. And I want to make sure that I put my units beneath so that way I know the difference between hours and minutes. And now I've ended at 3.30 p.m. So my last step is to add up all of my hours and all of my minutes together and that's going to tell me the elapsed time between 1.15 p.m. and 3.30 p.m. So I have one hour plus one hour which equals two hours, and I have five, 10, 15 minutes. So that means that it's two hours and 15 minutes from 1.15 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. Another strategy that you can use to find elapsed time is using a T-chart. Now, as you can see, this T-chart is separated with hours and minutes. We have a column to list our hours and a column to list our minutes, and also our start time and our end time. So let's say that we want to find the amount of time between 3.35 all the way to 3.55. We're going to start very similarly to a number line. We're going to first put in our start time, which is 2.35. And then we're going to see how many whole hours we can use. From 2.35 to 3.35, we have one full hour. So I'm going to add one hour in our hours column. Next, we're going to see if we can add another hour. From 3.35 to 4.35, we'll be past our end time. So that means we now need to move into our five minute intervals. To start our five minute intervals, we're going to move from 3.35 to 3.40. And we need to make sure that we put five minutes down in our minutes column. From 3.40 to 3.45, we have another five minutes. And then from 3.45 to 3.50, we have another five minutes. And lastly, we reach our end time, 3.55, which is another five minutes. Now our last step, just like a number line, is to add all of these together. We're going to start with our hours. We have one hour. Now we can add our minutes. Five, 10, 15, 20. 
20 minutes. The elapsed time between 2.35 and 3.55 is 1 hour and 20 minutes. Let's go ahead and practice a word problem together. For this word problem, we're going to use a number line. Mario read a book from 12.55 to 2.05. How long did Mario read? Well, let's start by setting up our number line. So I'm going to make a number line in the middle of our screen, and we're going to have our start time, which is going to be 12.55. Our end time is 2.05. So now I can go ahead and I can start measuring out the amount of whole hours we have. From 12.55 to 1.55, we have one complete hour. Now I want to make sure that I write in my units as well so that I don't forget. Now I can't put in another complete hour without going past 2.05, so now I'm going to put in my two five minute intervals to get from 1.55 to 2 o'clock and 2 o'clock to 2.05. So I have two five minute intervals. And my last step is to add these all together. So I have one hour and five minutes plus five minutes, which equals 10 minutes. So that means that the amount of time that Mario read was one hour and 10 minutes. We're going to try another word problem together, but this time we're going to practice using our T-chart. Nina worked on her homework from 4.15 until 6.25. How long did Nina work on homework? Well, we're going to enter our start time, 4.15. And then we're going to start using whole hours, 4.15, to 515 is going to be one hour. So I have one hour in the hour column. From 515 to 615 is one more whole hour. Now from 615 to 715 we'll pass our end time. So now we need to move into our five minute intervals. 615 to 620 is five minutes. And then 620 to 625 is another five minutes and we've reached our end time. So now all we have to do is add these numbers together. We have one hour plus one hour, which equals two hours, and five minutes plus five minutes, which equals 10 minutes. So that means our elapsed time is two hours and 10 minutes. Let's review what you've learned in today's lesson. You can use a number line or a t-chart to find elapsed time. We're going to start with 135. Now, as you can see, we've listed it first on our t-chart as well as our number line. Next, you're going to find whole hours. From 135 to 235, we have one full hour. We also can mark it on our number line with one full hour, making sure we write down the units and list the next time. So from 135 to 235, just like we did on our t-chart. Now, if we were to go one more hour, we would be past our time. So now we're going to move into our five minute intervals. From 2.35 to 2.40, we have five minutes. From 2.40 to 2.45, which is our end time, we have another five minutes. If we look at our number line, from 2.35 to 2.40, we have five minutes. And from 2.40 to 2.45, which is our end time, we have another five minutes. Again, we need to make sure that we write our units so that we don't get confused between minutes and hours. And our last step is to add these together. We have one hour and 10 minutes. And if we look at our number line, you're going to see the information is the same. We have one hour and five minutes plus five minutes, which is equal to 10 minutes. 